Sunday, and I know that God is up to something, yeah. and I know that He has a word for us on today. Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. There's a word for us on today from the Lord, and, and I am, I am so happy. I'm so ecstatic <clears throat> to introduce our speaker on today. Amen. And you were at Mother's Day in Orlando. Amen. You'll know that this woman has a word fresh from God out of her mouth for the people of God. Amen. I'm excited. Amen. That God promised me that he was going to do what he said that he was going to do. Amen. He said he was going to raise her back up. Hallelujah. 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 He didn't give her to me just to, be, just to take her away from me. Amen. 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 January coming will be 11 years. Amen. We are no stranger to each other. Amen. And I tell people everywhere I go, Sister Rhoda and Brother Rhoda, they can tell you. I tell people everywhere I go, we a team. Yeah. We a team. Amen. Amen. We team hard. Amen. Amen. Come on, let me see all of you say part of it on today. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. opportunity first and foremost I don't take it lightly to be standing in this place Amen. because he chose me That's all right. Amen. so I thank him yes. and I give all honor to God because he didn't have to choose me Amen. Thank you. and I'm so happy that he did and I thank, thank God you. today I thank God for each and every one of you yes. in your prospective places I just thank you for being here and I ask that you give attention today because there is a word from the Lord so I ask, the Bible tells us, he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord has to say to the church. So I ask that you give attention to this word on today, and we're going to act accordingly. Before I get into the word on today, let's go to the throne and acknowledge him on today. Father God, I come before you. It's me, O oh Lord. Yes. Standing before your sacred desk. Yes. God, I ask if there is anything that is in me that is not like you. Yes. Oh God, I ask that you will take it out from the river, oh God. Don't let anything of me remain, God. Father, I ask that I decrease as you increase, oh God. Let them see you and not me. Yes. Oh God, think through my mind, speak through my mouth, use my hands, use my feet. God, you can have all of me, oh God. Use me however you choose to use me on today. Oh God, speak to your people. Only you know what they stand in need of on today. Only you know what they came in the house dealing with on today. Only you know, oh God. And we ask that you talk to them individually. That you minister to them individually. Oh God, give them what they need. Let them leave this place today yes. saying, I got just what I need yes. from the Lord. Yes, Lord. Speak to them, oh God. Yes. Not me. Don't let them see me. But let them see Jesus. Yes. Yes. Don't let them see me. But let them see the Father. Yes. Don't let them see me. But Holy Ghost, have your way, have way. in this place. Yes. Do what you want to do in yes. this place. Yes. I give you permission to use me. Oh God, as a vessel. Yes. And Father, we thank you. Yes. We praise you. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. Amen and amen. amen. So I was asking the Lord, I said, Lord, what do you want to say to your people? Use the God. Use the God. And he said to me, 
He said, what is important, the most important thing in the life of a human being? Mm. And I said, God, what do you mean? He said, in the Bible, you have to pay special attention to what someone says first and what somebody says last. All right. And he said, what did I say first? Go ahead. And what did I say last? Amen. He said, it was very, very important. If you don't remember anything else Jesus said, mm -hmm. you need to know what he said first yes. while he was in this body uh -huh. and what he said last yeah. before he was ascended up. Yeah. Because it's very important instructions yeah. For the church. Yeah, yeah. If you don't remember nothing else, nothing else. Yeah. he said, you need to remember those words yeah. and act accordingly. Yes. So we're going to look at what he said first. Talk to us. And what he said last. All right. And not only are we going to listen, but if you are a blood bought believer, in this place today, yes. the Bible says, faith without works yes. is dead. Yes. So if I hear the word, yeah. but I don't do nothing with it, Amen. it makes no sense for me to hear the word and not do the word. Amen. We have to begin hearing the word, going out of this place, yes. and yes. acting the word out. Yes. Because why? The Bible says we are epistles, yeah. written epistles, right. that people look at. That's right, amen. And what we do is how people look at us and how God is. Amen. We're the only example the only. of God okay. that people can actually see. That's amen. right. So if we don't walk out of here acting like God, talking like God, Doing what God has called us to do. Yes. How is the world to know that God is good? Amen. Yes. How is the world to know that God can heal? Yes. How is the world to know that God will provide? Amen. How is the world to know that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world? Yes. Amen. How? How? If they don't see it in us. Amen. Yes. Because Jesus is who? Our example. So if we don't walk like him, if we don't talk like him, he's not here. That's right. Amen. He is no longer here in the physical. Right. But he's in each and every one of us. Yes. We are his representatives. Yes, right. We represent the kingdom. Yes. We are the church. Yes. It's just like my husband. When I go out, if I'm looking ragged, they're going to say, ain't that apostle's wife? Yes, they do. Amen. Does she look rough? Amen. That's what they're going to say. They're not going to say that's faith. Right. They're going to say, that's a apostle's wife. Mm -hmm. She got on flip flops. <laughs> she got on a bonnet on her head. She looking a hot mess. Lose around here. Lose around here. <laughs> I represent. Right. And Jesus 
love the Lord oh my God. The Bible says, if you love me, All right. keep my commandments. Do what I say do. Yes. If you love me. Don't just hear my words. Go out of the building and do what you want to do. Because you represent me. Yes. I put my name on you. Yes. I purchased you with my personal blood. Yes. I did it. God said yes. yes. So you are no longer your own. Matthew 
chapter 4, mm -hmm. verse 17. All right. From then on, Jesus, who? Jesus. Jesus began to preach. Yes. And what did he say? Repent. 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 For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. We're going to stop right there. Repent. Repent. Lady Faith, what's the first thing I need to do? Repent. 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 Hallelujah. Like no, no. Hallelujah. And repent does not mean, Lord, I'm sorry. That word means I change mm. my mind. My yes. God. Lord, no, I didn't hurt somebody. I murdered somebody. My God, my God. My God. Lord, I didn't just have sex before marriage. I fornicated. Forgive me. My yeah. God. Yeah. Lord, I lied. I didn't tell a little fib. I lied. Yeah, yeah. See, to repent, you have to call the thing what it is. Yeah. Uh -huh. What we don't like to do in the church is tell the truth. My God. But the Bible says that I am the way. The truth. So can we have him if we don't have the truth? Come on. That's good. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to me except I draw you. Amen. Can't go to the Father unless you come through him. That's right. But you got to come to him with the truth. Yes. Because he only recognizes the truth. He said, if you are a liar, you are of the devil. The devil is your father. That's the word. So you got to come to him with the truth. Lord, I did. And God, no matter how bad it is, if you come to him with the truth, He'll take you from wherever you are yeah. and make you whatever he wants you to be. Amen. If you are honest yeah. with the Lord, be if you repent, Lord, I change my mind. Yeah. What I used to think, I don't think no more. Yeah. That's not who God I want to be. I preached the last time I was here. And I said, the person I was, I didn't want to be that. Yeah. I changed my mind. Yeah. Yeah. I repented. Yeah. Even though the outside wasn't there yet. Come on. The inside had changed. Yeah. My mind had changed. Yeah. Even though you couldn't see it on the outward yet. But my mind changed. Yeah. That's what has to change first. Because the Bible says that so as a man thinks, yes, so, is so is he. If I think I'm this, I'm that. Yeah. So now I gotta change my mind. I gotta repent. Repent. And change the way I think. Yeah. He said, repent. I can I can preach just that one word. Yeah. Repent. 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 Yeah. Didn't John preach that one word? Oh, yes, he did. He couldn't get no further. Right. He kept telling him, repent. For the kingdom of God is in him. When Jesus came along, the first thing he said was, repent. Yeah. For the kingdom of God is in him. Yeah. Change your mind. Change your mind. In order for us to do something different, church, we got to change. Our minds. Yeah. He said, let this mind be in you. God. Oh, that was so also in Christ, in Christ Jesus. Yeah. If we think, he said, I, my, my thoughts are higher than yours. Yeah. Yeah. My ways 
I'm not your way. Yeah. There is a way that seems right to me. Yeah, come on. Come so on. he says, don't lean to your understanding. Yeah. But in all your ways, acknowledge, acknowledge me. Yeah. And I will do what? Direct your path. Direct your path. Yes. I never meant for you to try to live this life on your own. That's, right. That's why I said I will never leave you, uh -huh. nor forsake you. But I'll be with you even until the end. If you don't want to do life with me, how are you going to spend eternity with me? Church. 
So we take what is in heaven and we bring it to the earth. But how can we do that? Let's read. Like I said, the first thing he said is important. That's the first thing. That's the first thing he said. Mm -hmm. And the last thing he said is important. All right. Let's go to Matthew. Chapter 28. Starting at verse 16. When you have it, say amen. 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 The 11 disciples, my Bible might be a little bit different than yours, but it's the same Bible, praise the Lord. The 11 disciples traveled to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshiped. Yeah. But some doubted. Yeah. Jesus came near and said to them, all authority oh. has been given to me mm -hmm. in heaven mm -hmm. and on earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to read that again. I like that. Oh, yeah. All authority yes. has been given to me yeah. in heaven and on earth. Yes. What's that next word? Can anybody tell me? Go. 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 Therefore. Yeah. That's important. I'm sorry. Go. Therefore. Yeah. Don't sit in the church. Come on. Go. Go. Therefore. This is the instructions. Are we listening? Go. Amen. Go! Yeah. Therefore. Yeah. And make disciples. Yes. First of all, he told you, I have authority. Yes. In heaven and yes. on earth. And on earth. I took authority from the enemy. Yes. He no longer has control over the earth. Yeah. In the army. In the army. 
of the Lord. Yeah. I'll fight yes. till I die in the army, in the army of the Lord. Yeah. I got my war clothes on yes. in the army, in the army yeah. of the Lord. Do you believe? 
What I don't have, you have. What I may not have, you have. God might use me to come to you and say, since I need X, Y, Z. He made it that way. Why? Because I can't depend on myself by myself. Yeah. Come on. He needs everybody. We all have a gift. Just because I'm holding the mic don't mean that my gift is more important than your gift. All right. Come on. We're not going to have preachers in heaven. That's right. Say that again. We don't need preachers in heaven. Come on. Why? Because we're going to be all preached out. Yeah. Everybody's going to be saved in heaven. Yeah. We're going to be doing something else in heaven. We don't know what we're going to be doing, but we're going to be doing something else. Yeah. I'm going to be in the choir. She going to be in the choir. So that means you got to sing down here. Right. If you're going to be in the choir. Right. I can't sing. going to be in the choir. Yeah. Whatever you do there, you got to start it here. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the word. You have to be an example here. Yeah. Because he said, we're going to read it in a minute. We're going to go to Acts. Let's go to Acts. Let's walk in. This is walking in the word, right? Amen. Right. Oh, okay. Let's walk. Let's walk. Walk in it. I like it. Amen. Let's go to Acts chapter 2. All right, good book. Because this is Pentecost Sunday, right? It is. Oh, okay. Acts, Acts chapter 2. Y'all, I love this word. Yeah. I do. Amen. Because how can two walk together except they agree? Except they agree. Yeah. And how can I agree with somebody? I don't know what they see. Amen. We've taken too much time agreeing and not know what we're agreeing to. That's it. Mm. We have to read his word in order to say, yes, Lord, I agree with that. So please, if you don't like reading the word, get in the habit now. Yeah. Because there is going to come a day. It is. There is coming a day. Yes, it is. Where they're taking this away yes, from us. Oh, yes. We won't have it. And if you don't have it in your heart, you're going to fall prey to what the world says. Amen. If you don't know what he said, you're going to fall prey to the world. Yeah. I had a preacher that said one time, he said, casual Christians will become casualties. Yes. You're a soldier. You have to know your orders. Yes. How can you carry it out and you don't know what your orders are? Amen. As any soldier in the U.S. Army, if you don't do what your general says, you will be considered and AWOL. That's right. All right. Oh my. And there are punishments mm -hmm. as a result of you not following orders. Yes. We've already been given a directive. Yes. The Great Commission is not the Great Suggestion. Right. It's a command. I don't do it if I feel like it. Come on. Lord, I'll go if I feel like it. Mm -mm. Uh uh. The Great Commission is a direct order, order That's right. from our Commander in Chief. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. If the Lord of the Angels' Armies <laughs> gives you a directive, yeah. you don't choose not to obey. Amen. You do what He tells you. To do. Yeah. It's just like your children. Yeah. If I tell you to wash those dishes, that's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus tells us what to do. If yeah. you are a blood bought Christian, and I use that term yeah. lightly, <laughs> because you would have had to say, Mother just said yes. This morning. Amen. So I know. Amen. 
She's following his command. Yeah. We all saw yes this morning, did we not? Yes. We all agreed. Yes. 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 Did you see how the Holy Ghost moved? Yes. When we said yes. 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 He came into the service and did what he wanted to do. Because we were all in one place yes. and on one accord. Yes. That's a living example yes. of what God will do yes. when we all come together. Yes. Let's read Acts chapter 2. Chapter two. Verse 1. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a lot of reading now. When the day of Pentecost had arrived, mm -hmm. they were all together yes. in one place. One place. They were all together yeah. in one place. Yes. Suddenly, uh -huh. a sound like that of a violent rushing wind came from heaven yeah. and it filled the whole house where they were staying. Mm -hmm. They saw tongues like flames of fire that separated and rested on each one of them. Yeah. Then they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began speaking in different tongues. As the Spirit enabled them. Mm. Now there were Jews uh -uh. standing in Jerusalem. Nah. Amen. Mm. Devout people. Yeah. From every nation under heaven. Well. When the sound occurred, a crowd came together. Here we go. That's it. When they heard the sound. The sound. The crowd came together. Yeah. And was confused. Yeah. Because each one heard them speaking in his own language. Yeah. yeah. They were astounded and amazed, saying, Look, aren't all those who are speaking Galileans? Yes. How is it that each of us can hear them in our own native language? Yeah. And I'm skipping down. We heard them yeah. declaring the magnificent acts of God well. in our own language. They were all astounded and perplexed, yeah. saying to one another, what does this mean? Yes. When the church begins acting like the church. The world will ask, what does this mean? I don't understand. This doesn't make any sense. I understand them. How do I understand them? Aren't they Galileans? How are they speaking Spanish? How are they speaking French? How are they speaking German? How are they speaking Italian? How do I understand them? The world wants to know. The world wants to know. How is that possible? Come on. Amen. The Holy Ghost makes all things yes. possible. That's how you bring heaven to earth. When you receive the Holy Ghost, yeah. you can do what others cannot do. Right. You can say, even though you didn't know how to say it before, you can say things and know things that you didn't know. Because right. it's the Holy Ghost in you. Yeah. 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 Have you received the Holy Ghost? Since you believe, mm -hmm. He is the one. Yeah. The only one. The only one that teaches me. Yes. He is the one that leads me. Yeah. He is the one. Yeah. Before I get dressed in the morning, Holy Ghost, what should I put on? Yeah. I'm not led by my own mind. Yeah. Let this mind be in you that was also 
in Christ Jesus. Yeah. I have to think with his mind. Yeah. Act like him to be his representative. Because it says in the book, he says, you will be my witnesses. That's right. Is that not what he said? That's what he said. You will be my witnesses. How can you witness something that is not working in your own life? My God. Mm. What is a witness? Come on. May I ask? Come on. A witness is someone that has seen something and tells what they have seen. Yes. If you have not seen it, then you are a false witness. And the Bible tells us, don't be a false witness. I can only witness that God is a healer because he healed me. I can only witness that God is a provider because he's provided for me. Every single last one of us in this world. 
the Bible declares how lovely is the feet of him that carry the gospel. Carry it. Everywhere you go. Carry it like Mary did. She was pregnant. She couldn't hide it. She had him on the inside. He was jumping and leaping. She couldn't deny I'm pregnant. I got Jesus on the inside. I can't deny he's in there. Whenever he jumps, I have to speak. It's like fire. Shut up in my bone. We have to begin opening up our mouths. Tell our children the truth in love. If I love them, I have to tell them the truth. Even if it hurts. You know what they say in court, and I'm done after this. What do they say in court? You get ready to testify. And they give you this. I don't know why, because y'all don't believe in this, so why you got the Bible? But anyways, I digress. They give you this. Yeah, put your hand on Put your hand on the Bible. Raise your hand. Yeah. I promise to tell the truth. The whole truth. Yeah. And nothing but the truth. Yeah. So help me God. Yeah. <laughs> A place that don't believe in God. Mm. A place they're taking him out of. Mm. You want the truth. But you told the truth to leave. Oh my. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Yeah. We've kicked the truth out of schools. Yeah. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. Come on. That's good. They've taken the truth away. Yes, they have. Because his name is Jesus. Yeah. yeah. They don't recognize the truth. Yeah. They do not. The world does not recognize him. Amen. And that's why the world is in trouble. Yeah. But if we don't stand up and represent him yeah, yeah. in the school, yes. in the legal system, yeah. when we tell the truth, yeah. he is there. When we love. Because he said, I am love. Yeah. When we love, he said, love will overthrow evil. Yes. We defeat evil with good, with love. Yes. So what do we gotta do, saints? We gotta tell the truth in love. And we have to love. No matter what they do, no matter what they say, we gotta love. Why? Because we gotta represent. God is love. And wherever I love, I bring him with me. Wherever I tell the truth, I bring him with me. The Holy Ghost only recognizes the truth. So I, if I come in with a lie, he's not going to recognize it. Why? The Bible says, did our hearts burn when they were talking to us? The reason why your heart burned is because When is the last time your heart burned in church? My God, my God. When's the last time? I'm tired of coming to church and my heart not burning. My God, amen. He's a consuming fire. Yes. And if my heart's not burning, he's not here. That's right, amen. And I don't want to be anywhere where my God is not. Amen. Especially in his house. Amen. Amen. I thank God. I wanted to pray for the young lady that is not here. But they left. Because I believe God can heal her. Amen. Of the oxygen problems. But somebody. Somebody. 
in this place, reach out to her. Please. And pray. You pray for her this morning? Continue to pray for her. Because one can put a thousand in the flight. Yeah. yeah. Two can put ten thousand. Yeah. The enemy got to get off of her if we all come into agreement. That's it. Because then the Bible said we're two. Touch and agree on anything, on anything on this earth. It shall be done yeah. by the Father in heaven. Yeah. That's how we bring heaven yeah. to earth. That's right. We are his representatives. So when we leave this place today, that's why I say when you leave this place, the devil from his presence, because you can't leave his presence. My God. Because you take him with you. Right. And if we know that, we should live as such, like God is watching us yeah. all the time. He said the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the good and the evil. Yeah. So I have to live yes. like God is watching me all the time. All the time. Even in my house. That's right. It's the truth. Behind closed doors. It's the truth. I have to live like he's watching. Mm -hmm. Because he is. He is. Just because you can't see him That's don't true. mean he's not there. That's right. Do you know that there are monitoring spirits? Yes. Oh, yes. That monitors, monitors your every move. Yes. And they run back to the devil and report everything you do. Oh, yes. That's how the enemy makes his strategies uh -huh. against you. Because they watch you. Yep. They study you. See what makes you tick. My God. What you like, what you don't like. My God. If the devil studies you, mm -hmm. why don't we study him? Right. Because the Bible says, I will have you not be ignorant of his devices. That's what he right. said. That's the book. How can you fight an enemy that you don't know? My God. <laughs> we are soldiers. Yes. In the army of the Lord. With our armor. Yes. Yes. Truth is a part of our armor, y'all. Yes. Truth is our belt. Yes. yes. Everything hinges on truth. So if you don't have truth, all your armor's gonna fall off. My God, amen. Because see, preachers will get up here and tell you, oh, put on the whole armor of God. How do I do that? They don't tell you how. That's right. That's it's right. very simple. Yeah. You have it on all the time. My God. If I have on my belt of truth, I'm telling the truth all the time. My it God. protects you. Yes, it does. Why? Because you have to remember a lie. Amen. I just tell the truth. Simple. Right. The breastplate of righteousness. I am righteous. It protects my heart. Yeah. It protects everything. Somebody find that scripture, Ephesians something. Because we got to stop fighting without our armor on, y'all. I'm sorry it's taking so long. But I got, I got to give you this one last thing and we'll be done. This is my second clause. <laughs> Ephesians, somebody look at a Google. Y'all know what y'all do. Go on. Read it for me, mother. I'll start at 10. Finally, my brothers, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Uh -huh. Put on the whole arm of God uh -huh. that he be able to stand against the wives of the devil. Okay. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, blood uh -huh. but against principalities, against powers, uh -huh. against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Yes. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. places. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Therefore, take unto you the whole arm of God. Yes. That you may be, to be able to withstand in the evil day. Yes. Having done all. Having done all. To stand. Come stand. Uh-huh. Stand therefore. Yeah. So, hold up. I don't even have to do nothing. <laughs> all I gotta do is stand. 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 Mm -hmm. Having to done all, all I've done everything I can do. 
Lord, I, 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 don't, I, I don't know what else to do. Just stay. Just stay. Did Abraham fight? No. They came, ran to Abraham, lifted up his hands. And as long as his hands was raised, they won the battle. Yes. But the moment his hands came down, they were losing the battle. Yes. Keep your hands raised, saints, and stand. Put on your armor and stand. Keep going ahead and read, mother. Stand therefore, uh -huh. having your lords girt about the truth. Mm -hmm. Tell the truth. And have it on the breastplate of righteousness. Uh huh. He is our righteousness. And your I don't have to do anything. Why? He already paid the price. Yeah. His righteousness is mine. Yeah. All I have to do is accept it. It's a free gift that He paid for. Yes. Read it, mother. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. I walk in peace because I know that He has done it all. Yes. He is the Prince of Peace. I don't have to do anything but reside in him and walk in him. Yes. He is my peace. Yeah. I'm not going to let you bother me. I'm not going to let you worry me because I walk in peace. Yeah. It says that peace be your God. Yeah. If I'm not in peace, I'm not going to do it. Amen. I'm not going to go that direction if I don't feel peace. Yeah. If I'm worried about it, that's not God. Yeah. Keep on reading, mother. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Shield of faith. Huh. Wherewith you shall be able to quit all the fiery dots of the wicked. I use the shield to hide and to prevent the devil from hitting me. Yeah. I use faith as my Shield. Yes. Devil, you can't hit me because I believe in God. Yes. There's nothing you can do because I believe his word. word. And what he says in his word is final. Yes. But you got to know his word. Yeah. Amen. To have faith. Yeah. Have the faith comes by hearing. hearing. And hearing by the word of God. So if I'm listening to the devil, mm -hmm. I'm not hearing faith. Yeah. I'm hearing fear. My God. You ever wonder why am I so afraid? Why am this why is this happening? Why is that? Check what you're listening to. That's it. If I'm listening to gospel music, if I'm listening to the word of God to encourage me, to give me faith, mm -hmm. how can I fear? My God. Oh my. He said, I did not give you the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a sound mind. Read the rest of the mother we done. And take the helmet of salvation. The helmet of salvation. And the sword of the spirit. Which is the word of God. The helmet of salvation. I'm saved. That keeps my mind. Yeah. You can't hit my head, devil, because I'm saved. Yeah. I overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm saved. Yeah. That guards my mind. Yeah. You can't do anything to my mind, devil. Why? Yeah. Because he already bought me. I have the mind of Christ. Yes. There is nothing that you can do. Yes. And I have his word. Yeah. I word. fight with his word. word. When the devil came to Jesus, fought he fought with the word. What did he say? It is written. It is written. That man should not live by bread alone, exactly. but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. The devil know the word too. Yes. God knows he do. So you gotta know it better than him. My God. That's why you need the Holy Ghost. Yes. Because he said, I'll bring everything that you forgot, I'll bring it back to your remembrance. Yeah. You need them, saints. Yeah. You can't live this life without him. Can't do it. He made it that way. That's right. So we'll have to do life.
life with him, yeah. not without him. You can't fight the devil without God. No, we are powerful when we realize whose we are yeah. and who we, we are. Amen. Amen. So, I say, saints, gird up your loins. Yes. Gird up your loins. Because we have to go out in the world yeah. and compel them to come. They're not coming in this church without seeing the God that we serve. Amen. Yes. My God. We're going fishing. Because hey. he said he'll make us yeah. fishermen of men. That's what we are called to do. Yeah, that's right. And some may be afraid. But how? When he said, I did not give you the spirit of fear. Yes. But a power of love and sound mind. Amen. So we have to go into the world. Yes. And tell them about Jesus. We got to stop just talking about it. Do it. He said, go. What did I say? First word, last oh. word. Remember that. Yeah. And I'm done. Amen. God bless you. Yeah. I love you. God bless you more. Okay, 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 okay.